What's up, y'all? I just thought of something mind-blowing, and I want to know if you guys ever have these same thoughts, because you spend a lot of time by yourself when you're doing solo lawn care. So what goes through my mind is, one, I always felt like I was a barber, but for the grass, because whenever I used to always get a fade and stuff, and I get a zero on the side, I'd either have to go every week or every two weeks to go visit my barber. He charged me a set price. It'd be cheaper if it was weekly. It'd be more if it was bi-weekly. And then at the end of the day, he just trims my hair and then he fades it and blends it. So when I feel like I'm doing these long hair does, I feel like I'm mowing the yards. And then I'm fading it with my trimmer and I'm just feathering the edges and stuff like when you're walking up and down the perimeter. So I was like, I guess I'm a lawn care guy, but I feel like I'm a barber. I feel like we share a lot of similarities, but I just came across something new. Have you ever thought about mowing is like brushing your teeth and weed whacking is like flossing? Because I mowed this, that's like brushing your teeth. Then when I was like getting the trimmer in between these posts right here, I was like, do, do, do. And I was just thinking like, damn, this is like flossing. I just went to the dentist too, so I guess I'm thinking about that, but I don't know. Money's important, but it's not always about money. Sometimes it's about just having fun and just like realizing what you do. Like another thing too, I guess to make this video actually valuable was when I first started my lawn care, or before I even started my lawn care business, my parents wanted me to do yards and I never wanted to do it because I always thought that was just like blue collar labor. I don't want to be outside sweaty and stuff. I want to be inside a roof with AC and fluorescent lines. I thought I wanted to do that because that's what everybody told me. And then I had a couple jobs like that and I hated it. I was like, wow, mowing is actually not so bad. And then once I got used to being in the sun and just being in shape, I guess, because if you're walking and mowing a lot, you have to be in shape or else you're not going to last. It just made me feel a lot better. And then now, instead of like looking at it as it's just like, I'm just doing blue collar mowing the yard, I feel like I'm tending to God's green earth. And I like that shit. I like being outside and making people's yards look good because I'm OCD. My stuff needs to be like, the placemats on my dining table need to be squared at 90 degree angles perfectly, like that type of OCD stuff for me. So for me to just go and take a crazy looking yard and then whip it up, make it look clean and straight, that makes me happy. So if you're kind of OCD like that and you're an introvert, or I mean, you could have a worker, it doesn't matter. But if you're OCD, I think lawn care is a perfect job. So something to think about. You don't got to do lawn care, but if you do, I have a course on it, makemoneymore.com. I can show you how I did a full-time lawn care business by myself from zero customers to 50 and 5,000 plus a month. But all that being said, makemoneymore.com if you want that. I'm all about having fun. I'm going to go finish this yard. I guess I'll show it to you real quick. This yard was $60 every two weeks. So awesome little yard. Zoop. That's it. I'll show you the front yard too. Do, 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 do. They also want me to give them a quote for putting sod down right here. A little bit of rock on the walkway of the house. I don't want to show their open door, but this is what the yard looks like 60 bucks. Again, I might throw out $60 like maybe 10 times in a row. I might only land like two or three of them, but that's cool with me because we're playing the long game and slow it steady wins the race because you could have a bunch of all over the place, all over the city, tall, mean, ugly yards, or you could just have a very select, slick selection of very good stable of yards that are high priced nearby. It just takes a little bit of patience and also giving more volume in so you can be more picky because you can't be picky if you're not even getting callers. And if you don't know how to market, you should go learn. All right, so love you guys. Let me know what y'all are up to today on this Friday. Looks like somebody's already trying to take my business away. Just kidding, I'll be a homeowner. All right, I'll see you guys later. Love you, peace out.